So hi and welcome to Real Talk with Dr. Dean. Today I want to talk about likes and our obsession with social media and, and, and what is it doing to us. So um, this is Real Talk, but I will do a full podcast series with all the research and, and the data and everything. But this is just a heart to heart with yourselves. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, so uh, we live in a world where there's so much pressure to be amazing, be exceptional and be the, the young person with the Lamborghini be at that restaurant, show this off, show that off. We all know that. But what is it doing? Are we all becoming attention seekers? Am I making this video for attention or am I making it to make a difference? That, that, that's a key question I ask myself every time I, I film something. So the, the pressure to look beautiful um, and use those filters or to get rich young and those standards that are set that if you don't if you don't have a Lamborghini in your twenties, you're a failure. If you don't do makeup like Kim Kardashian, then you're a failure. If you don't do certain things or get likes, then you know you haven't made it in life. And that that is really making us sick, mentally, spiritually, physically sick. I'll give you my own example. This addiction, uh, I remind myself why I'm doing it because if I forget that then I would start posting things of what I'm eating. I, I try to never post anything unless it has benefit for people. So I, I try not to ever post a, a food or something fancy unless I have a purpose. So if you go in my social media last 10 years, I doubt you'll find anything where I'm showing off. Hopefully, I hope not. I'm not perfect. I'm only human. But I try to think about a principle in my mind that if I make a video and let's say it's 10 minutes long, and let's say a thousand people watch it, that's 10,000 minutes of time that I've taken away from people. Is that good time or have I wasted someone's time? I'm worried about the accountability. So a lot of Muslims that make videos that are pointless and useless, taking people's time away, are they going to be accountable for that? You know, we say, well, us, that, that, that Allah swears by time. Time is so crucial and key that everyone's a loser who loses time. So if I take away your time in this video because I don't benefit you, then I'm a loser and am I gonna and am I gonna be accountable for that? So I keep that in my mind. But back to what we're saying. Likes, following, beauty, aesthetics, all of this. What what can we do and um, how we how we're looking at it? So first is a reality check. Uh, very, very few people, I'd say 99.9999% of people will never be a big YouTuber. I will probably never be a big YouTuber, and I don't really care. I don't care. I just want you to watch it, whoever can benefit. So you're not going to become a massive YouTuber. Uh, and then even if you look and, and go on YouTube and look at the people that have got big followings and look at how much they earn. Very few of them are millionaires. A lot of them, they'll show you on a million views, they're getting 300, 400 dollars. So it's not a lot of money. You can earn a lot more in a decent job. So, And they all say that YouTube isn't a way to make money or even Instagram. It is a way uh, for some people, like I said, the tiny, 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 tiny minority. For us, if we're going to chase that lifestyle, it's going to lead to nothing. You know, and if we are showing the world that beauty and wealth, they're the important things, they're the things that matter, then what have we just done? We've just defined something the exact opposite of what Allah, our Creator, wants. Allah says, I do not, and Allah does not, regard your beauty and your wealth but he looks at your heart and your actions so beauty and wealth is what social media is telling us to love and show off and Allah say, say, saying the exact opposite Allah wants to see your heart the condition of your heart and your actions your deeds two opposites so social media is taking us in the complete opposite direction to where we should be we shouldn't be following likes and and it's really hard because you get every time you see a like, every time you see that heart on Instagram or a like uh, on Facebook or Snapchat every, or TikTok, you get an, another follower or a like, you get a dopamine hit and it makes you feel good. So you want more of it. So it's, it's, it's science based. Attention engineers make sure we stay on these gadgets, stay on these apps. But we have to fight it with an understanding. So in the, in the heart and the mind, we need to think. What's my purpose? Why am I why am I posting this? And I always say this, why do you post a selfie? 
you know, some people have a hundred selfies on their profile, on their page. I already know what you look like. I don't need to see a picture of you a hundred times. That's when you're looking for validation. That's when you're looking for satisfaction and likes on something completely pointless. There's no point to a selfie as far as I'm concerned, unless it has a purpose to it. So if it's a selfie, it has a background which you want to describe and it has some benefit. Otherwise, just showing your face or your clothes, you're just in the trap and you need to get out of it. So following those likes and having the wrong expectations, extremely harmful for your mental health, for your, for your well-being, because you're setting uh, an unrealistic expectation and you're chasing a dopamine hit. You're chasing a like, uh, a following and keep going back to that. And it just takes up your time, your mental strength, your energy. Everything is affected by this addiction to getting that attention. So when we become attention seekers, we're not going to be able to succeed. If you look at the most successful people in the world, in any sphere, they don't spend their time looking for people to just like what they're doing. They're busy achieving and then they share what they're achieving. So they're doing something, whatever they're passionate about, whether it's business or whether it's sports, whatever it is, and then they might share what they're doing. But they're busy succeeding, not attention seeking. The attention comes from what they've achieved because they've become successful in something rather than attention for attention's sake, if you see what I mean. Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue with that on the podcast. So don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Asalaamu Alaikum.